Well, they find him on his body. Well, if we don't find Alan soon, we'll just have to call up the search. No, no, I want to keep looking until we find some proof that he's dead. Well, what have you got so far? I mean, the plane couldn't have just vanished into thin air. You must have found some pieces of it. Ah, uh, there's no reason to keep this quiet anymore. It's going to turn up in the FAA report. That is, that there was a chemical substance found in the fuel line. Make certain that my company receives a complete report of the investigation. Yes, yes. Mr. Walker, under the circumstances, you are entitled to it. How did that chemical substance get in the fuel line? Well, it appears that someone put it in there knowing that it would cause engine failure. Wait, I don't know why I'm so surprised. It makes more sense to me now. What makes sense? Alan told me that Monica gave him a check for his birthday. So? <laughs> There's no crime in that. The check was to pay for flying lessons. So Alan's flying was Monica's idea? I don't know whose idea it was, but I do know that Monica paid for Alan's lessons. It seems strange to me at the time, considering they were at each other's throats. I know what more proof do you need? The woman threatens to kill my brother several times. She buys him flying lessons. He dies in a plane crash. You don't need to be a brain surgeon to figure out who to point the finger at. All right, at. I just don't want anyone jumping to conclusions. Jumping? You look to me like you need to be pushed, lady. I'm going to keep you informed about the progress of this investigation, and that is all. If you'll excuse me now, gentlemen. I'm going to pay the quartermain to visit. I'll see you later. Will you get someone out of my office, please, sir? Just came in from the lab, Chief. Oh, you'd okay. want to see it right away. Thanks. Thanks. That's... Oh, that's strange. What is? Well, the lab found pottery shards in the fuel tank. Pottery shards? Yeah. Well, we'll get a better idea when the lab we constructed the pieces, but... Hmm. You know, maybe Jimmy Lee is right. Maybe Alan's accident wasn't so much an accident. Hmm. Murder? Suicide? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Mm. How do you want to play it? I want to question Monica. I think it's getting a little too close to home to spare. I, I just want to hear what she has to say. Then she'll get back to the search party and keep in touch. All right, Chief. All right, Anna. Just how do you figure it? Do you think that Monica plotted to kill her husband? Up until today, I wouldn't have said so, but now I'm not so sure. I mean, it really looked like someone wanted Alan out of the way. Well, if not his wife, who? I don't know. You know what really worries me more than anything? Why? If Monica is involved in this, then her affair with Sean is going to come out into the open. And people might start to put part of the blame on him. Oh, Anna, Jimmy Lee could be wrong about Monica and Sean. I don't know about Monica, but uh, Sean, you know, he wouldn't be involved in Alan Quatermain's crash. You know? Well, hello, troops. Oh, a feast fit for a king. <laughs> I'm famished. Who brought all the goodies? Bobby, Terry, and Tanya came by with the food. Hmm, that was nice of them. They were very sweet. They were also very unhappy about when they heard what had happened to their dear friend, Alan. Well, life goes on. Stella, dear, would you please get me a cup of tea? Mm-hmm. How can you be so heartless? Hmm? Did I say something? Doesn't it matter to you in the least? Lila, should I have the slightest idea what you're talking about? This, this horrible game that you forced me to play. Don't you know what it's doing to people? Alan's friends are heartbroken and poor Stella. Stella's just grief-stricken. She's so grief-stricken that she can barely operate. It well, tears me apart to see her like this. It's all for a good cause. Nothing is worth all this anguish. Oh, wait and see, my dear. Just wait and see. How much longer must we pretend that Alan is dead? Well, not long. You see, uh, I've been busy all day making arrangements. To bring him back? Well, no, not exactly. Uh, Lila, trust me. Mm, I hate it when you say that. Now, Lila, I know what's best for this family, and we have to continue this charade a little while longer. Everything depends on it. What arrangements have you been making? <clears throat> well, I can't tell you exactly yet. Edward, I gave you my word that I would keep your nasty little secret. But I will not be kept in the dark. 
If I have to pretend that my, my son is dead, I want to know why. We're doing this for Alan and Monica. That's it? That's your idea of an explanation? I know all you ever wanted was for Alan and Monica to get back together again, right? Yes. Well, all I'm doing is trying to make that happen. Jimmy Lee is here to see you. Who? Mm. Sitting mm. in the entry. Thank you, Stella. Excuse me, darling. It's about time you got here. What happened at the police station? Oh, our little scheme is working like a charm. Oh, they're starting to bite at the bait, huh? Hook, line, and sinker. They found the chemical substance in the fuel line, and we got lucky. Brett Madison and the insurance man were there when they told me. You should have seen the insurance man. Oh, <laughs> he couldn't wait to get his hands on a police report. Excellent. Oh, Edward, if they don't suspect Monica by now, they never will. Yeah, well, we've got to be very careful that we don't overplay our hand. We don't want the authorities to know they're being manipulated. Not in a million years. The cops are right where we want them. Yeah, all over Donnelly and Monica. <laughs> oh, I do love a good intrigue. Well, I hope it won't be long before the search party finds the wallet. You did hide it and they uh, leave it out in an open place. Oh, yeah, yeah, they can't miss it. Well, good. That's all the proof Anna Devane should need mm -hmm. to uh, declare Alan dead. <laughs> Alive. You sure you want chocolate? The strawberry is great. I like chocolate. Have you ever tried the peach here? The peach here is fabulous. The vanilla, the vanilla fudge is really good too. I had that the day before yesterday. They got, we got walnut fudge and pineapple swirl. I like chocolate. Okay, I'll give you the chocolate. You know, come to think of it, I don't think that I've sampled the chocolate yet. I just better test it and make sure it's okay. Chocolate's excellent. It's a very, very good choice. You were absolutely right. I'm going to give you the chocolate now. How's that look to you? Pretty good? There you go, young man. One chocolate cone. 25 cents, please. Thank you. Thank you, and you come back again. Simon, you are eating up all the profits. Oh, no, no, no. It's very, very good for business. I mean, in order for me to be a convincing salesman, I have to try out the merchandise. Well, I think that the young boy would have bought a chocolate cone anyway. No, but yeah, one has to think of the other customers, really. I mean, you wouldn't want to take the risk of selling substandard ice cream, would you? I guess you're right. I wouldn't want to take the risk, no. Have you ever tried the peach ice cream here? The peach ice cream's really wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I trust your judgment. Okay. <laughs> you were right, Chief. Well, search team found this at the bottom of Brewster Falls. I'm close enough. Yeah, it fits the description exactly what he was wearing when last seen. Where did you find them? Well, the helmet they found about a half mile below the falls in a little shallow, and the scarf was hanging on a low branch. I see. Okay, uh, will you contact the search party and tell them to call it off? Right. Uh, Chief. Yes? Frisco's outside. He was asking whether you were following up on any of his leads. Will you just tell him that I have far more important matters at hand? Like a phone call that I really don't want to make. Right. Quartermain residence. Hello, this is Chief Devane here. I would like to speak to Dr. Qu Monica Quartermain. Oh, please. Dr. Quartermain. Yes. Chief Devane is on the telephone for you. Oh, oh, thank you, Jennings. Uh, uh, this is Monica. Did you find Helen? No, um, I'm sorry. We've called off the search. You've called, you, you called it off? We have reason to believe that any further searching would be futile. I wonder if you could please come down to the station as soon as possible. Oh, well, you, you want me to come down to your office? Yes. And I think that for your own protection, you should bring your attorney with you. I, I can't believe this. What, Monica? What is it? They've called off the search. She wants me to come down to the office. What is going on, Jay? What's happening?